Hello, and thank you for calling Zappos.com. Sales associates dressed as barmaid. How's everyone doing? Are you being safe? Spider-Man in the cafeteria. Go! Go. Racing toy cars in the middle of the office. What's going on here? Welcome to the zoo. What you are witnessing is a social experiment by Tony Shea, the entrepreneur and mastermind behind Zappos, the online shoe company. His revolutionary way of running a business has made Zappos into a $1.2 billion powerhouse. And he got there with the guiding principle, great things will happen if you make employees happy. It's like a playground. I mean, there are balloons, there are whistles. Does that help business? We think it's important for employees to have fun. And that drives employee engagement. And companies with strong cultures tend to outperform the ones that don't have strong cultures. Shea's hugely successful company sells over a thousand brands of shoes in just about every style, size, and color. Ship 24 hours a day, as many as you like, and it's free shipping both ways. At Zappos headquarters in Henderson, Nevada, outside of Las Vegas, no dour corporate cubicles here. Instead, employees are cheerful and downright zany. And no CEO corner office. Instead, Tony Shea sits in the middle in his own cubicle next to his assistant. You want your people you hire to be, in your words, a little weird. What does that mean? One of our core values is to create fun in a little weirdness. We really recognize and celebrate each person's individuality. We want their true personality to shine in the workplace. Tony Shea has been a maverick from an early age, the son of Taiwanese parents with high expectations. My parents wanted me to get good grades and eventually become a lawyer or a doctor. But Tony launched his own little rebellion before he hit double digits. Your parents wanted you to learn uh, musical instruments, but you deceived them. What did you do? I really did not enjoy playing musical instruments, so I would play recordings of me playing the piano while my parents were still in bed, so they thought I was practicing. Do you play any instruments today? I can pretend to. Shay began to show an instinct for business at just nine years old. I had this idea of buying a lot of worms, and then I would grow my own, and then I could eventually sell worms. What happened? Maybe a week or two later, all the worms had escaped. So that was the end of my worm farm business. Good grades got him into all the top universities, but he went with his parents' choice, Harvard. You didn't go to any classes. How come you still got A's? Reading the material on my own or getting notes from friends. Is it true that one of your courses was Mandarin Chinese, but you already spoke Mandarin <laughs> Chinese? Yes, it was first year Mandarin Chinese. I don't know whether we should be very proud of you or whether you're going to tell young people, you know, go to college and never go to school. I actually encourage them to take the money they would have spent on college to uh, start businesses instead. So if your ultimate goal is to be an entrepreneur. Not one to let college get in the way of commerce, Shay made fast money selling fast food. Got on the subway, went one stop, bought frozen uh, McDonald's burgers, took a taxi back and cooked them and sold them to students. How much money did you make? Five or ten thousand dollars. After graduating, Shay's first big move was launching an advertising website from his basement called Link Exchange. It grew quickly. But so did Tony's unhappiness. As it got more successful, that's when you didn't want to do it anymore. Why not? It wasn't a fun place to work at anymore. So you sold it. How much did you get when you sold Link Exchange? $265 million. He was set for life, but then someone approached him with the idea of selling shoes online. You said it sounded like the poster child of bad internet ideas. You were not interested in shoes. I'm actually still not interested in shoes. It was the most exciting business from a growth perspective, and I really like the people there. Shay jumped on board as CEO, and this time, he would build his company differently. I definitely did not want to repeat the same mistake I had made at my previous company, where the company culture just went downhill. If I was going to go into an office every day, might as well go into an office with people I would choose to be around, not be around purely just for business reasons. 
cliche is evangelical about making sure his employees are happy, offering free food in the cafeteria, covering all medical benefits, and even supplying a life coach to help employees reach their goals. I just was accepted to the brand marketing internship. Oh, that is awesome. That is great. Congratulations. Fortune magazine named Zappos one of the top 10 companies to work for. There's some rowdy folks. Feel free to take pictures and video as we go around. And the business world is taking notice. Don't mind the silly string folks. It's superhero week. Employees from other companies often show up at Zappos headquarters, taking tours and trying to understand what makes Zappos so successful, often with disbelief. I think they think we're nuts. I think people are generally afraid to allow employees to be themselves because then they feel like the power is taken away. It's really more than just a place to work. It's, it's a lifestyle. Most Zappos employees, when they leave the office, leave to hang out with other Zappos employees. It's not because we force them to, but because they actually choose to. After a decade, Zappos dominated the online shoe industry and it has expanded into other products. And last year, Amazon bought the company for $1.2 billion, but asked Shea to stay on as CEO. He agreed for a salary of just $36,000 a year. That's my way of making sure that I'm actually only there for my own happiness, that I'm not staying like for the money. Shea is not proprietary about how he runs his business. In fact, he put Zappos' recipe for success in a book called Delivering Happiness and went on tour to spread the word. Shea's next big project is to deliver happiness to downtown Las Vegas. We are in the Fremont East District right now. It's an area that most tourists don't know about. It's where the locals hang out, and there's a real sense of neighborhood and community here. His vision revitalized the distressed downtown area into a high-tech hub, bringing in more jobs. What does success mean to you? The ultimate definition of success is you could lose everything that you have and truly be okay with it. Your happiness isn't based on external factors. Uh, <laughs> could you lose everything and be happy? I think that would actually be a fun challenge.